So I've recently been getting a lot of questions on how exactly I animation cancel, so I figured I'd make this quick video because I did have a video in the past that shows you how to do it, but it's kind of outdated and I found a way better method to do it since then. So first of all, just go ahead and open up your browser of choice. I'm using Google Chrome, but it doesn't matter what you're using. Then just go ahead and type in auto hotkey and hit enter. Then you'll see autohotkey.com is the very first result. Just double check down here to make sure it says autohotkey.com, then click on it and you'll be on the website. Next, you're gonna wanna hit this big green download button and it'll give you two choices, download V2 or download V1.1. So you're gonna wanna download V2 and it's gonna pop up down here or maybe up here depending on your browser. Wherever it is, you can find it. As you can see for me, it downloaded into my downloads folder, but if you change your default download location, it might download somewhere else. If you don't know where it is, just open it from here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click it and open it. Then it's gonna ask you where you wanna install to on your computer, which drive, and it's, I'm the only user on this computer, so I'm gonna select all users, but if this is a shared computer, you might wanna do it on current user. That's just gonna slightly change to get a little bit more specific with where it saves auto hotkey to. So I'm just gonna select all users, then click install. Then you're gonna see this pop up. Don't worry, it's safe. Just go ahead and hit yes. And then it's hopefully gonna open up something called auto hotkey dash. You're gonna see a couple of stuff here, but honestly, don't even worry about it. I. You don't need any of this. I'm just gonna close that, minimize everything, and head over to my desktop. Full disclosure, in the description, you're gonna see a very top link and then one below it. The top one is gonna be like link for ties, and I make a small commission off people who click through that. As long as you follow my instructions in the video, it won't download anything sketchy onto your computer, but if you don't wanna deal with that, which is fair, it's about two extra clicks, and I would appreciate the support. But if you don't wanna deal with that, just click the link below it, and that's just a straight Google Drive download link. Thanks guys. Now from there, you're gonna to wanna to click the top link in the description and it's gonna bring you to a page that looks something like this. Ignore everything on the screen, and I mean literally everything, and click this, only this, nothing else. Free access with ads. Ignore this, click skip. And then it's gonna bring you to a Google Drive. Click download. Now we're back in the file folder. I accidentally downloaded it twice. Whoops, I'll delete the one with one. And then what you're, want, what you're gonna wanna do, just run the script. Now, because this is an older auto hotkey script, this is gonna pop up. Just click yes. Then yes again. A couple of things are gonna pop up. Basically what auto hotkey is doing is it's installing an older version of auto hotkey. You don't care about anything this, just go ahead and hit okay. Now we have that version installed. We try to run this. You see that little circle? We had down here, this button, click that, and we can see right here the H, three to one animation. Now, the super nice thing about this script is that as you can see, if the window active, Stardew Valley modding API and normal Stardew Valley are active, it can work with both of them. You don't have to do any finagling with that at all. So let's just launch Stardew Valley really quickly. Now, all you have to do to animation cancel is click and then mid animation, press your space bar. This is normal tree chopping, pretty slow. This is animation canceling. I'm not the best at it, but I'm, I'm pretty decent at it. Figure I'd also answer a couple of commonly asked questions. No, this does not work on console. And no, this does not work on Mac. This is a Windows only tutorial, I'm sorry. It's just not possible on console and I'm not familiar with Mac, so I have no idea how to do anything on it. 